Hello, welcome to Tina Bison. So today's topic is about the some of the respiratory structures which helps in the exchange of gases in different groups of animals. So the first group of animal is protozoan example amoeba and paramecium and the respiratory structure is the plasma membrane. Okay. Next is about the sponges, example cycon. It's also the cell's plasma membrane. The third one is the cnidarians, example hydra. Surface structure is the body surface. Fourth is platyhelminthus. It's two times free leg being is planaria. And the parasitic form is the T form. So the free living form exchange of gases takes place by body surface and in case of parasites no exchange of gases takes place because of anaerobic respiration so what is anaerobic respiration when in anaerobic respiration there is no use of molecular oxygen and the food is oxidized without the oxygen okay the next is about the nema helminthus example free living that is raptidus by the body surface and the parasitic form is ascaris no exchange of gases that is anaerobic respiration then about the annelids example is earthworm the structure is the skin that is cutaneous respiration so the cutaneous respiration so skin in these animals like um, earthworm skin act as a suitable organ for the exchange of gases and it is very thin in nature it kept moist permeable and well vascular and it can function in both uh, water and land condition and it takes place in annelids some crustaceans and in some amphibians as well okay so the next is about the arthropods first one is the prawn and crayfish the example is the gills that is branchial respiration so branchial respiration is the action takes place by the help of gills and it is found in most crustaceans and mollusca and some insect larvae and in some feces and some amphibians and it occurs only in water okay the next is insect centipedes millipedes sticks example is trachea that is the tracheal respiration okay the next is about the scorpion spiders the example is book lungs of the st structure and in king crab the structure is book gills these are two important structures then about the molluscans the structure is by gills that is the branchial respiration and the pulmonary sac is also involved then about the echinoderms the starfish example the normal branchia and tufid then hemicodata that is balanoglossus pharyngeal wall is involved then about chordata First one is Eurocotata that is Hardmania, pharyngeal one is involved, then Cephalocotata, branchial stoma, here also pharyngeal wall is involved. Next comes the vertebrata, it consists of cyclostomes, feces, gills involved in case of amphibian skin and bucopharyngeal lining and in case of reptiles, birds and mammals lungs are involved so the buco pharyngeal lining is the respiration takes place in the uh, thin vascular lining of buco pharyngeal cavity in amphibians such as frogs and toads okay and it mostly occurs in air okay and so this is all about the structures which are involved in the exchange of gases in 
different groups of animals so if you like this video hit the like button share with your friends and do not forget to subscribe this channel thank you